Are we gonna are we gonna put a six? Look at this. Uh, are we gonna put a six no after that? Right? No question. You're not gonna happen. Nothing. It's not gonna happen this year. What happened last year? Right? No. There's no way. No. no we're gonna have a six, and then yeah. Belichick's gonna have six rings on his boat. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Brady's going to let what happen. Uh, they're going to have like it's a, be a great Patriot game. special or something, yeah. you know what I mean? So, this is the best. Um, how awesome is this? Because I grew up in Brattleboro, Vermont, right at mm -hmm. the bottom of the state. You were in North Attleboro, Mass. Yeah. So what was your connection with like being a Pats fan from you know when you first I was, um, When I was 10 years old, I was in that punt, pass, and kick. Oh, yeah. And I was with the – I grew up 10 minutes from the stadium. And when I was 10, it's like I went there and you know, I had my uniform on and I lost uh, to go to the Super Bowl. Um, but it was like from then on, it was like the Patriots were your team. Yeah. You know, and growing up in New England, it's, you know, it's, I say it's God's country. You know, <laughs> and it's, it's like you've got to be a, a, a fan of all the sports. And, you know, we're right. lucky the, the, the city's had a lot of championships and it's fun. It's, you, you know, get people get spoiled. Yeah. People, are, people that like criticize because... No, they criticize because they're not us. Right. You know, and that's right. just. We went to the old Foxborough Stadium, yeah. the old crappy little area yeah, there in the farm field, you know, and they stunk and, they, you know, yeah, they couldn't we, score. When like, I first got there, it was like Minnie Mac Heron, Slam Bim Cunningham, yeah. Jim Plunkett. Right. You know, and, it, and yeah, we weren't very good. Um, yeah. I think Chuck Fairbanks was a coach one, and we were, we started getting it going, getting it going a little bit, but. Yeah, we, were, we weren't very good. The Sullivan's yeah. owned the team. And, yeah. You know, but then we built it, and now it's, you know, for the young people, of New England, they're spoiled because they never, they're almost like, they're like the Bills fans. Right. Where they really struggled and no one, they've never saw a winner. Well, we never saw a winner until Correct. 2000. And yeah. now it's. It's, you know, a, it's unbelievable. But, I, I had the John Hanna, Irving Fryer, yeah, those yes, kind of years. You yes. Know? And then grew up with uh, with Bledsoe, you know, who yeah. uh, I think really kind of got that started. You yeah. know, but my guy was Steve that. Brogan. A Grogan. Yeah. Yep, Steve absolutely. Brogan was yeah. a guy, Randy Fataha. Yeah. You know, and. Yeah, it was, That's the best. Yeah, it was yeah the best. see, people don't understand, but when you grow up and you go through it, uh, being a fan, you, you've been through those times. Yeah, yeah so and it was like <laughs> all of them. You know, like yeah. the Celtics were successful all the time, but the Bruins struggled. Right. Um, oh, the Red Sox. And the Red Sox were, you oh know, gosh. shoot, I remember being in a, in a bar in, in New York in 1986 when we thought we were going to win, yeah. and, you know, and, and, you know, so, yeah, it, it was almost like being a Bills fan, you right. know, for all those years, and now it's, you know, for right. the last... 18, 19 years, it's been really good. We'd go to the Red Sox um, from Vermont. It was like a two-hour drive, yeah. and my parents would take me and my brother, and we'd just go, and, you know, we'd get back late at night, and my dad yeah. would always like, oh, it's seventh inning. Like, all right, let's go. Let's beat the traffic, you know. <laughs> and I just have to leave early. I'm like, come on, Dad, you know. And it's like, but they would. They'd have the bases loaded. They'd have nobody out. So they'd, no outs. They'd never score, you know. I mean, it's like that's the kind of stuff that we struggled yeah, through. Yeah, no question. And then, and then they win it last year, and it's like as excited as 04 was where you can't even – begin to describe it like yeah. now last year they win i don't think i texted two people or yeah. got yeah, in a response spoiled. They get spoiled. spoiled like they just won the world when, series when i was in school <laughs> at, at boston college we used to take the the green line down and get out it was three dollar tickets out and sit out in the oh, bleachers man. and you know you sit out there and drink some beers and take your shirt off when you you thought you had a good body <laughs> and um and then we just right. you know, drank beers in the seventh inning and you know we'd be losing we go home that's, you know, yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah. It was it was so much fun. So I'm looking forward to that this weekend. Um, how about here now? You got you got your son Nick, right, mm -hmm. on staff. Yeah, I do. Um, former uh, student at uh, Alfred. At Alfred U. Yeah, yes. Alfred U. Now, what's that like having him here now? It's you know something. It's it, it's really neat. Um, you know, he wants to get into the business, and um, he's coming here. He's getting his his uh, his MBA, mm -hmm. um, but he wants to get into coaching, and and it's really neat. He, you know, he breaks down tape. He, he's like quote the advanced scout. Yeah. Um, and he's learning the business, and it's you know when I see him, it, for me, it, it, like when I see him in the locker room or at practice, it it's like a comforting feeling, because you know you you have a family member, you have someone that you love, um, and it's really I, I cherish it. Not not many coaches have the opportunity to coach with their sons or mm -hmm. coach their son or coach with them, and you know I'm having that opportunity, and it's it's really neat. It's it's uh, I'm proud, um, yeah. and, and it's and it's it's just enjoyable to have him around and and, and to be able to to show him, you know, and hopefully I'm, I'm teaching him some stuff and, and hopefully he'll he'll have, um, you know, some success in the business. I don't think a lot of people understand that kind of side and how much, you know, goes involved and in not just coaching, but this is your family, you know, and then you have yeah. uh, Derek and Michael, right, yes. as well, and your wife, yeah. Anita. Yes. So yes. how about that dynamic? And how yeah, about what it's they're really doing interesting. Too? It's like the coaching is take takes so much of your time and you have to have one, uh, an understanding wife. If not, then in this business is not yeah. for you. Um, and you spend more, and it's sad to say at times, but you spend more time with 
your team than you do with your immediate family. Um, you know, so it's really important that, you know, when they were younger, they would come out to the gym and we would, you know, basketball was our life. Um, and then it, it's been hard, like Nick and, and Derek, Nick played Alfred for, for, for four years and, mm -hmm. and Derek has played for two and now he's, you know, he's, he's a finance major and he's, you know, he doesn't want to play anymore. But going, you know, missing those games, yeah. they're really hard. And even in high school, I, I've missed, you know, both Derek and, and um, Nick's senior day. You know, and so there, there's a lot of things that you don't, because of coaching, that you don't have an opportunity to do. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you feel a little bit guilty. Um, you know, Michael, uh, the uh, little one, is going to be a senior, is a senior, and um, I'll be able to go to his senior night on Monday. Well, and they're playing great, aren't they? They're playing, yeah, right? they're, that's awesome. Yeah, he's going to be 16 0. He'll be playing ball after this. Yeah, yeah. but it, 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 there's a lot of sacrifices that you make in this business yeah. uh, that people don't realize. Um, you know, the time, you know, you're paying, you know, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. and you know, the recruiting and, and, you know, it's, you want to be a dad, but at the same time, you know, you have a job to do here. So it's, it's a really, it's, you get pulled, mm -hmm. and, you know, but if you have, you know, and I'm lucky to have a, a wife that does a lot, you know, mm -hmm. you know, outside of, you know, so I don't have to go home and, you know, do the, the bills and, you know, All she right. really is an independent woman and, and that's 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 good. No, same here. I mean, I, my uh, my wife Steph is the same way. Like, really understands like yeah. this business. I, if it wasn't for her, there's no way I could do this. And we just had a baby girl, so we have Congrats. a three month old girl. Thank and you. And that's even more and, difficult, right? And and you know we're you know it's it's a, it changes your life. Yeah, you know it that. Changes. So. And, and like when yeah. you're putting in all these hours, and then when you have a young family, you're going home, and now you know she's been with the with the kids all day, and mm -hmm. it's hard. It's 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 a big challenge, and. And you're right. If you don't have the, if you haven't married the right one, then it's not going to end and, too well. No, and you understand like when you're on the road, like I'm on the road, and I'm I'm gone. I'm not there. So when I am home, I'm trying to be as present as I possibly can be yeah. for as long it's, as I it's can. Not, it, yeah, it's, it's not yeah. quantity; it's quality. Right. And that's what we do. And 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 you have to, you know, Anita's done a really good job with the boys because in essence, she's raised them. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's sad, but that's how it is it's like you spend so much time and this this business becomes consuming and and the thing that's really difficult is it's consuming and when you don't win yeah. it's almost like you question what you're doing right. you know you still question sometimes what you're doing when you put all these hours even when you're winning but when you lose you think like is it really worth it Right. It's you know. tough. Yeah, I, I understand that. You've had a, a nice run here going. Now, obviously, yeah, we've been lucky. Twenty plus winning seasons, yeah. which is awesome. So yeah, it's it makes been. You feel it, we've. Yeah, we've had a lot of success, and and you know, I've been a small piece of it. You know, it's it takes you know, like everybody says, it takes a village to raise a, raise mm -hmm. a child. It, it takes a great administration. It takes you know great boosters, great assistant coaches, you know, great fans. It takes so much, and I've been blessed to, to be able to be the head coach here for twelve years, and. And have the success that we've had. How about though in the off season? I, I know you guys like to go up to Cape Cod, right? Uh, you get the yeah. whole family up there. God's so that's country. that's right, exactly. You know, I mean, that's I, I, that's you know, something I must love, look forward to. Right? Yeah, I love the water. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the family's back there, and you know, mm -hmm. the, the, my brothers and sisters and mom and dad come, and we. It's just a family. Every year we've been doing it for you know probably twenty years now, and we grew up. Even when I was a kid, we had a, a, a summer home in in uh, Buzzards Bay, nice. and so we grew up there and. It's just, when you see, there's something about looking at the water that's just, that smell of, and, and people will say that, that um, you know, low tide, you get that stink. I love the smell love of it. low tide. <laughs> it's almost like when you smell it, it's like I'm home. That's great. You know, I just, you know, that, that's a great area in, in you know, that's a place I love. New England's great. I mean, I love it. I love growing up there. I don't know if I would be able to stay or live and work there now based on what we do. And yeah, like, you know, yeah. the job is taking you here. Yeah. Uh, my job, I'm all over the place. Yeah. But yeah. you love going back up there, oh, you know, and seeing yeah, the people. It's, yeah, yeah, going, it's just when you go and it's just, you, know, you get off the plane, when we, like we play Rhode Island, you get off the plane, that smell, you can just yeah. smell I'm home. You know, there's something about it. I will never get New England clam chowder anywhere on <laughs> no. the road except when I'm in New England. You know yeah. what I'm saying, right? Because yeah, no it's question. like it's never New England country. They yeah. don't know what they're no. doing. I get, no. can only get it in yes. New England. <laughs> yeah. When I when I go to um, to Logan Airport, there's a legal seat. Yes. And you as soon as I go one. in there, I go through security, and there's one. It's right to the left. Yeah. And I go beeline right there. <laughs> Are you, a, are you a Dunkin' Donuts guy? Oh, yeah. too? Yeah, I uh, love right across the I just went to the headquarters actually in Quincy. Really? Uh, yeah, when I was up there this past we, uh, year. When I first got the job here, 
I was like destined for the job because when I first got it, they were building a Dunkin' Donuts right across the street. <laughs> right over there. Yeah, so it's like, oh my God, there's a yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. It's perfect. Me. Every yeah. morning, yeah. every morning. I love it. That's great stuff. And, uh, you know, how about with what you've done here? I mean, this is a, you know, it's a destination. It's a destination for basketball. You've talked about it. You come here, you play hoop, you got a great fan base. You won your first NCAA tournament game since 1970. You know, you guys yeah. took them to the tournament last year and beat UCLA. That was great. I mean, I was pulling for you guys. That was, yeah, that it's was been, fun. It's been really good. It's, um, you know, it's not for everybody probably, but it, this is a, there's not very many places the size of Ole and Allegheny where basketball is so important. Yeah. You know, in the wintertime, th this is what people do. And, um, and I'm just, I'm lucky, I'm proud to be the head coach um, in, in a place where there's so much passion for the game. Like, when you talk about Bonaventure, you know, the academics and all that, but when you talk about the alums or talk to the alums, the first thing they talk about is the Riley Center yep. and Saturday nights, you know, watching Bonaventure basketball. It's a neat place. And, you know, some people will talk about it's like, you know, the frozen tundra and all those negative things. Yeah. There's nothing better. On, on a Saturday night here at the Riley Center, there is no place better in, in the country for, for college basketball. Had a bunch of sellouts, you know. It's yeah, a lot just, of fun. Yeah, and people that, take it yeah. seriously and they have it in perspective, but. It's a neat place to raise kids. It's a neat place to go because it's, it's basketball. Right. And, and as a basketball coach, that's what you want. You're, you're the focal point. And, you know, lucky, lucky enough that we've had success. And, um, and it's been really good. It's, I, I never dreamt that it would be this good. Yeah. You know. Hey, you're three wins away from becoming the all-time <laughs> yeah. winningest coach ever at this place. And what is that? What's that going to mean to you? It, it means happen? I've been here a long time. <laughs> yeah. um, and it means that I've had really good players. Um, we've had a really good staff, the administration. I've been really lucky. To, it, and I've been a, a part of it. Um, you know, when I first got here um, in 2007, you never know if you made the right decision, yeah. you know, in this crazy business that we're in. Um, but as you're there, as I've been here, and you know, in the first, you know, two or three months, I'm like, man, this is this is right. And you know, we've been lucky. You know, you know we get an Andrew Nicholson or, right. or Jalen Adams, yeah. and you know, we've been lucky. Uh, but my staff has done a really good job, and the boosters, the support, the administration, it, it couldn't couldn't be better. It's yeah. it, I really like it here. It's um, it's me. It's it's small. Yeah. It's quaint. You know, and, and, and basketball is really important. It's awesome. I love coming up here now. I've, I've gotten used to it. You know, you got yeah, the you hotels got, right across the yeah. street. You got your Dunkin' Donuts. You come to the game. The crowd's awesome. I mean, it's really it, because that's what I, I grew up in a small town. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I get this feeling and I, and I like it. it reminds yeah, you it's, of, me, you know, it's not a big city. If, right. if you want Manhattan, you know, don't don't come to Ole in New York. Right. But there's so many things positive about this place. It's just yeah. it's it's. You have to, it's like a lot of people like back home will ask me, you know, what, what is it like? And I'm like, you can't really put it into words. You got to right. see it. You know, you got to see the rally center. You got to see, you know, after games, when we go out to the, to the, to the, to the restaurants, the, how important it is. Mm -hmm. And the people here, it's like, to me, it's a blue collar community yep. where people are, you know, they, they're, they're, they're raised, they work hard. And, and this is, they take really great pride in this area. And, you know, we try to represent that blue collar approach. Mm -hmm. And I always tell the, the, the team, it's, you know, when I first got here, it's the first game, I was like, I, I want the, the crowd when they leave the game, when they're walking back to their car, to, they may say that they're not well coached, that we don't have great players, but I want them to say, man, those kids really play hard. And that's that's what this community is about, this hard working people. And, and we try to represent that. Well, you certainly do. You've done a great job with it, Coach. I love coming up here and talking to you, man. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much. Uh, thanks all the so best to you go, this season. Go Pats. You got it, man. Number six. It's on the way. <laughs> Number six. You all get right. that right. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.